Hi, this is Danny Ibar from My Mark. Today, Annie Emily tells us how to get your offline customers online. I love the Buy Local First program in Utah. Not only just for the sake of buying shiny new things, but mostly because I love interacting with the local business owners and fellow consumers who face the same fears and frustrations that I do. One of my favorite pastimes is to window shop 25th Street and other Buy Local First establishments on Saturday mornings. Through my conversations with the local shop owners, I have become aware of the increasing significance of social media and online personal branding for these establishments. Because their target market is focused on a specific geographical area, the importance of location-based searches and location-oriented social media applications is growing. We are all aware of how important interaction is in social media and how important it is for your search engine optimization. Not only will you get more recognition from search engines, but you will also receive more notice when one of your customers becomes a fan on Facebook, a follower on Twitter, or a connection on LinkedIn because of their entire social network. And it's alerted to, the, to this fact via news feeds and other various notifications. So how do you get your current customers to interact with you online? This is the one concern of local business owners that I see frequently. Many of these business owners have begun their offline campaigns to get more traffic to their online presence. Let me share some of the more successful and creative ways I have seen this done recently. Social media business cards. These local businesses are all about giving customers access to the business owners and managers. Their customers love their personal interaction with management. One way they do this is by giving out the business card of their owner on a regular basis. When on the business card, you can find not only the traditional means of communication, but the links to their website and, more importantly, their social media presence, like Facebook, URL, or a Twitter username, etc. This encourages customers to go and interact with the business owner in a less formal, but still very informative way. And setting. Social media coupons and exclusive offers. In many occasions, I find a postcard attached to my receipt. This doesn't just give me the information to find these businesses online, but also an incentive to do so. They give coupons and discounts to customers who become fans of their Facebook pages or for those who participate in online surveys and contests. One local portrait studio had a drawing from the people who commented on a particular Facebook status and the winner received a free sitting and portrait <coughs> package. Email lists turned social. We are all familiar with mailing lists. I have signed up for several emailing lists at local shops and I used to only receive newsletters, sale notifications, and other relevant news from these establishments. Lately, however, several of these establishments have turned to notifying their mailing lists about their social media presence. They encourage their customers to interact with them via social media, provide links to their blogs and exclusive offers on Facebook or Twitter. You don't have to adopt any of these techniques to get your offline customers to interact with you online, but you should be using some sort of technique to encourage this interaction. Learn a very important lesson from these local business owners and apply it to your personal brand. Communicate with your customers via traditional means to promote your online presence and get them to interact with you there. Use techniques best suited to your industry and brand and have fun with it. This has been Danny Ibar from iMark on how to get your offline customers online.